Hello everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. I'm playing Edna and Harvey the Breakout. This is a point-and-click adventure game, I believe, from 2008. It is the first, or one of the first, video games released by noted German game developer Daedalic. I believe that it started off as some kind of college project. Purportedly, uh, Jan Muller Michaelis, the director and writer and the person whose college project it was, you know, for some kind of thesis. He uh, purportedly ended up doing all of the um, uh, animation by hand towards the end of it, and put quite a lot of hours of work into it, so you know this is a real passion project. It was released in Germany to great reviews, and was released internationally to somewhat less great reviews, apparently because of a uh, kinda sloppy translation. Now, I've played the sequel to this before, not on this channel, and I don't remember noticing any problems with that translation, so I'm surprised to hear that there were with this one. Its original German release title, I believe, was Edna Brichtaus. Edna Brichtaus. Which I think just means Edna Breaks Out. Which I personally think is a better title. But I, you know, guess it's a branding thing. Well, uh, also, before we go any further, I tried very hard and long to... to get the game to run, even though it's not supposed to, with English subtitles and the original German dialogue. The, the original German audio. But I couldn't, I couldn't get it to. I spent hours working on it, and it just, it, I just couldn't get it to. So, I just, just want to let you know that I tried, guys. Well, uh, anyway... What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doop be doop be doop be doop be doop. Pah! And this is Edna. That is a door. It is closed. Yes. And, uh, Dr. Marcel just went through it. Why don't we have a chat with the door? Hiya, door. How's it hanging today? I was feeling a little unhinged earlier, but I'm feeling better now. In fact, I'm experiencing a perverse satisfaction from blocking your way. I hate you, door. Yeah, it's not being a very helpful door, is it? 
I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder if I even had a deck. I can't seem to remember anything. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Are you the sound absorbing type of padding? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, it absorbed its own yes. Well, we also have a chair. And a chair legs, too. Let's see. Edna, tell me, what do you think of the chair legs? Holy cow! Detachable chair legs. Junk from the discount furniture dealer. Well, very exciting. I, I understand why you'd be excited about it, too. Take the chair. Not without consulting my interior decorator. Huh, she still has a sense of wit. That's important in these kinds of scary situations. By the way, if you're wondering how I knew that that doctor was named Marcel, it's because I played the sequel a few years ago, and it remains a very beloved game. I thought it was about time you're I took a look at this one. nothing deadbeat, chair. I'm not sure how I should feel about that. Here, let's, uh, look at the, uh, the grate. I hate grates. Yeah, me too. Well, they have their, they have their place. Let's talk to the grate. It, let's talk to the grate, I said. Come on in. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Uh, no, we, we won't. I hate grates. Hmm. Well, I guess we could talk to the table. It might be able to help us. Hold it, table. Good boy. The table is our loyal pet. We will ride it out of here. But not really. So, I know the amnesiac hero trope might be a bit overused, but... Makes enough sense since she seems to be in an insane asylum. Hey! Hello! Don't make so much noise in there! What do you want? A lot of good questions to ask. Uh, I'm gonna go with who am I first. Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. Patient? Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie, you're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? Nice guy. I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right, she isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple, the both of you. <laughs> Where am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Yes, quite a lot else, in fact. You shouldn't work here, by the way. Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding? That does make much more sense, of course. I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Ah, you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. 
door guarding tournament. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I well, I play golf, mini golf. Yep. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini golf on you. Well, I mean, you'd have to open the door to do that. Can we talk about something else, please? Only if we have to. But if we really must, fire away. Oh, there's plenty to talk about. Um... Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? That's pretty plausible. I have to pee. Ah, the good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane? If you ever fall for that one? What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah, very clever. This is not a good place to be. I really have to seriously, urgently go pee. Don't try that with me. Just don't. But, but seriously, would they just let them wallow in their own filth in here? What a horrible institution. I'm a bit dizzy. Well, that's probably because of the stale air in there. I suppose I could get up now, walk over to the controls of the AC, and provide you with some fresh air. But then again, maybe I won't. This guy is just a bully. Just, just a bully. I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. Oh, so they're also starving her. In addition to doing something to her that's causing her to develop amnesia. Very humane. I need to check what the weather is like. Well, the early autumn sun is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside. But you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. This guy is just a complete jerk. It's much too hot in here. You can take it. Oh, I'm mistaken. No emergency at all. That's even better. Anything else? Yeah, um, could you maybe go turn on the AC? Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... later. Just forget it. I've got better things to do than chat with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what a spectacularly horrible person. Well, we know there's a vent behind this, so take it off. Ha! Good, good job. It, oh, we have a inventory. Hey, Harvey. Use hard with the pad. I wonder what the padding is for. Sound insulation, I guess. You mean, no one can hear us in here? It's still worth a try. <laughs> Will you cut it out in there? I'll cut it out if you turn on the AC. Okay, well. Hey, Harvey, you have anything to say about the table? Maybe shed some light on whether we have a deck. Hey, Harvey, do you want to play emergency room? Only if I get to play the surgeon. In that case, I'll give it a pass. I don't blame you. Harvey doesn't even have thumbs. Look here, Harvey. Oh my goodness, you found a chair leg! My heroine! In any case, given that the chair legs are marked separately from the chair, that's how we can be sure that they're important. Not without consulting my interior decorator. 
Wait a minute, we can look at all the pads collectively. I see. Okay, we can't look at those pads, actually. Only this one matters. I know there's a ventilation shaft behind this pad. I remember it from the sequel. Hmm. My most generous hosts have granted me a whole chair. Take a seat. I've been sitting around here long enough. Open the door, how about? It's locked. What did you expect? Well, it was worth a try, you know. Worth a try, at least. Hey! Hello! <laughs> I'd like to know more about mini-golf. Well, who does it? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Mini-golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. Thanks. Hmm. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Well, so we have the AC on. Now what? Uh... Let's see, can we pick up the... the chair leg? Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. Okay, good. Now we have our very own chair leg. Okay, so... use... on the pad. Didn't work very well. So how does this work? Okay, we click on this. So we use the chair leg with... Okay, that's how it works. Pretty simple. That didn't do much now, did it? If only I had something pointy. Pointy, eh? Okay. Harvey, use your teeth to make the chair leg pointy. Look, Harvey. I have detached a chair leg. You're like a carpenter, except in reverse. If only it had a sharp edge. Well, we can file it down on the table. Because the table has sharp edges, a little bit, even though it's probably plastic. Oops. I broke my chair leg. Yeah, baby! Let's trash the whole place! That's the spirit. Okay, so, now we have this. Now use it with a pad. I've created a piece of art. I agree. Use it again. I've done enough slashing for now. You sure? I mean, that's your opinion. You insufferable means of exclusion! Too bad. Not even a scratch. Really? It didn't even scratch the padding, eh? Well, whatever. It's, a tough, it's some tough upholstery. Are you the sound-absorbing type of padding? I'll take that as a yes. Hmm. So now what? Can we pick up the chair? We can use it to climb to the pad. Why? It's broken. But, f okay, fair enough, Edna. Can't argue with that. Um, hello? Hello, Edna. What's up? Oh, yeah, you might know what this place is, actually. So, yeah, what is it? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. Yeah. Well, part of what makes a person crazy is if they don't realize that they are. Who the heck are you? And what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. 
It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here and try to restore your memory. How's it going, Harv? I'd be much better if we were out of here already. I'll go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. The premise of being stuck in a room like this is actually the similar to the opening of another, another one of Daedalic's games, Anna's Quest. Now, what are we gonna do? Hey, did you, uh, turn on the AC? Hey! Hello? Well, sweetheart, what is it now? I feel a little chilly now. Can you turn off the AC again, please? No. Fresh air is good for you. And with any luck, it'll make you drowsy. Just forget it. I've got better things to do than chat with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That guy is so condescending. I mean, well, it is true that they used to have uh, some pretty rough conditions in insane asylums. You should consider a career as a home decorator. I've created a piece of art. Okay, peel it off. I can't reach between the gaps with my fingers. Really? Huh, okay. Use it with this pad. Nice work. What other pads are there? Use it with all the pads. One of them has to have the air vent behind it. Although, realistically speaking, it wouldn't be big enough for a person to fit through. You know, we can hope. We can dream. There are quite a few pads. It could be any of them. That, that, this is a lot of pads. Yup, sure is a lot of them. Man, if this were like the 1970s, these would be held up as the greatest works of art. Because they're those nice abstract shapes, you know? That's what art's all about, is abstract shapes. Not about actually, say, meaning anything or conveying a message. Maybe the message is that they're subverting your expectations by not conveying anything. Yup, that's probably what it is. Wow, that... C can we really use this to scratch up every single one of these pads? I... I guess so. That's pretty impressive, actually. Well, which pad has the vent behind it? I assume that this is how we, you know, figure out which pad has the vent behind it. Can we use it with twice with the same pad? I've done enough slashing for now. Well, you've done enough slashing for now to that pad. There's still plenty of others, of course. Everybody needs to do some good slashing every now and then. I take my slashing out on vegetables. You know, I only just noticed how much detail that they put in, uh, you know, into her butt. There's a draft coming from behind this gap. There we go. Um... There seems to be a passage behind this particular cushion. Well, take it off. Take, take the cushion off. I can't get any further with my bare hands. Well, that's a good thing we have this. Now here we go. Why did I tell him to turn the AC on? Well, I suppose it needed to be on so that we would be able to know that we had uh, removed the pad that had it behind it. It's a flathead chair leg. 
but a Phillips screw head. Dang. Hmm. Talk to the screw. Yo, screw! Don't you yo me, sucker! Loosen up, screw! Just keeping it real, bro. I appreciate that. Um, I'm sure the screw does too. What else can we do? Hey, Harvey, take this off the wall, please. No. Harvey is my best friend. Oh, I, I didn't mean to tell you to put him in there. Man, she sounded so sincere. I, I don't want to... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, do anything like that. Put it in the ventilator. Look here, Harvey. I've invented the world's first chair leg sharpener ever. Cool. This would work great for vampire hunting. After we escape, we'll make millions! That's the spirit. Okay. Sh wait, should we really... Yeah, we should try to escape. This place isn't good for anybody. It's a flathead chair leg, but a Phillips screw head. But I thought you just sharpened it. Um... Okay. Let's see. Take a look at the screw. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh! You used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. Oh. Is that so, Harvey? Please tell us more. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Aw, oh, come on. You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast. That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little. What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I juggle burning chainsaws? Not exactly that. But a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempomorph us to the past. Cool. I would explain why the thesis this was made for was, I believe, called Nonlinear Storytelling in Video Games. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the screw then. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? Yeah. Or, I, that's a better question. What exactly do you mean by tempo morph? Does that hurt? Will my body be split into molecules? And beam backward through time? Something like that. Yippee! Yeah, Temple morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on! So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was Albert or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh no! You better believe it! He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa! But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right then. Hmm, I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. Let's see, Harvey is able to collect topics via drag and drop. He can chat with Edna about them by dragging them up. Okay, if he wishes to use them later, he can collect them by dropping the icon in the toolbar in the lower rim of the screen. Okay, well, like the firewood, for example, so... 
Okay, I'll take some firewood. Uh, well, I'll... there we go. So, I hope that Marcel hasn't just locked us up as some kind of revenge thing. Put the furnace here, too. Man, I want to know about everything. Marmalade? Oil? That's one of the remarkable things about this game, is this level of detail. The artwork might have a charming simplicity to it, but as you can see, they really went all out. I mean, I assume that each one of these is going to get some unique dialogue. Hmm. I don't want to disturb the spiders. Very respectful. Are you alright, spiders? Sure. Definitely. Yippee! Definitely. Uh, where's the, where would we learn about screws up here, though? Eat some marmalade. Yucky, 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 yuck. Oh, you don't like marmalade? I'm sorry. I thought you might like it. It would be a nice treat. Try it out. Can oil dry out? As deep. Empty. What about the cloth? Obviously, there's nothing useful on these shelves. Well, if you say so. The good old furnace. You know, you're dressed rather asymmetrically. Not sure what time period this is supposed to be, but... Well, I guess she was a bit of a sloppy girl. Let's see if I can make out anything. Wow, that's our old kitchen. This site alone was worth trying this temple morph thingy. Yeah. I guess that, uh... No, our dad wasn't out there, so no use talking to the keyhole, but maybe we can reason with the handle. You will not hold me back, black-hearted handle. Harvey promised to get us out of here. And I trust him. That's the spirit. Okay. Uh, use the handle. Locked. What else could it be? About what I expected. Hmm. You have any more words of wisdom, Harvey? Hey, Harvey! Where's this great ability of mine to loosen screws? I'm working on it. Okay. Whatever you say. Let's see then. Uh, look at this. Look at the screw. The screws are keeping a panel in place. I wonder what's behind it. I assume the tumblers or something. So, or yeah, however locks work. Um, take them. With my bare hands, no chance. Use them. With my bare hands? No chance. Yeah, you're right. What? Okay, we can't... We, get, we can't get to a while we're in there. Take the rake. We're not gonna disturb any spiders with this. There we go. It seems to be a lovely day today. It was a lovely day all those years ago when she got locked in the basement. Yeah, your father doesn't sound like the best guy if he does that kind of stuff. Its primary function is to rake leaves. It's far less effective as a tool for fine mechanics. Well, I would imagine, but I can't be sure. Oh, well, ho hold on. When you get out of here, go talk to Harvey. Do you want the rake for a moment? Uh, no, not really. Unless you need someone raked over the coals. Puns. What about this? So... I'm not quite sure what to do here. So, no, let's just switch to Harvey. Go take a look up here. Hmm. 
Man, we can just get a look at everything. It's kind of amazing. Um, maybe I should, uh, save my game. Not that much has happened yet, but it just seems like a wise precaution. I see, the things that are in color, I suppose, are things that are going to be of some use. So... Hey, Edna! I found some screws! I know now. You have to loosen these screws to get out of here. That doesn't really help us much, does it? Now we've got the same problem as the one in the present. All right. I'll have another look around. I promise you I'll get us out of here. If you can paint yourself into a corner, maybe we can paint ourselves a way out. Don't be ridiculous, Harvey. Not be ridiculous? Why stop now? Right? <laughs> maybe these rusty nails can help us out. How do you reckon? Well, um, I wasn't completely finished with planning yet. Look what's in the box! What is it? A bunch of nothing! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, Harvey... Maybe we can use these towels? What for? A sauna club? A part of the fun in these kinds of games, of course, is just seeing what all the dialogue is. Maybe we can open the door with the oil from the can! Nice idea. But there isn't any oil. There's something so charming about this. A combination of the art style and the music and the... strangely unearned nostalgia. It, it works. Maybe the door will fall apart if we free the marmalade from the jar. Considering how it used to smell, that might even be a good idea. But we'd check out before the door does. Remember, though, you're made out of terry cloth. You could catch fire from the stench alone. Do you remember this furnace, Edna? Ah, yeah. The good old furnace. Okay. I mean, I expected you to say something more about it than that. Can you reach the window with a rake? Hmm. This almost sounds like it could work. I could give it a try, if you let me. Well, I think I will then. Do you have any thoughts about logs? Maybe we can make a fire! That should be fun, but I don't have a lighter. Well, there's fire in the furnace already, clearly. I mean, it's a furnace. Did you already try the handle? <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this temple morphing wasn't such a good idea after all. You don't know how I can get out of here. Don't worry, I'll teach you. And that will help you in the present as well. Well, actually, he is only a projection of your subconscious, which does confirm that he isn't real. At least, well, he's real to her. Maybe we can find something that fits into the keyhole. Hmm, let's see. Maybe something like... A key? Jeez, why so cranky? Sorry, Harvey. I was just so looking forward to the past. And now, all I get to see is this basement. I'll find a way out, don't worry. I suppose that, as a child, she was a little happier than she, uh, is as a grown-up. Certainly she wasn't, well, stuck in an insane asylum. So, Harvey. Um, Edna? Will you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. Oh. What an odd memory thing. Why, our house just expanded exponentially. Our world did. Although Edna still doesn't get to see oh, it. there's somebody sitting there! The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right... Hey! Isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum! Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it! 
It is rather peculiar. I hope he doesn't have some special arrangement with Mattis. That would be rather cruel. Got fruit. Congress of National Society of Philosophy devolves into rioting. <laughs> because on of ontologists. Violent ontology fights. And the chestnut thief is also on the run again. I see. Well, where's Article 1? I see. It's this one about new rhymes and about how, uh, in the future, final syllables ought will rhyme with ing, used with id, and ease. Oh, used will rhyme with id, and easel will rhyme with ifs. And these new findings give poetry three new important combinations that enable poets to express complex circumstances such as the conductor was confused, forget the snail he did. What? Well, I guess because used rhymes with id, or... And so the weasel thought, tomorrow I'll go jogging. Because ought will rhyme with ing. Also, a man was stabbed with... with right-hand scissors. At the anti-avalanche early bird warning... system. Not sure what that means. Wait. No... Does that say 19-year-old or 9-year-old? Either way, that's pretty young to be killed by scissors. Be dying by scissors is, is pretty brutal, isn't it? Can we get in the door? I guess not. We are just Harvey, after all. Okay, Edna. I'm done looking around. But, uh, I've, you know, thought you might be interested in a few of these things. You'll never guess what's happening on the porch! Fire away. Mattis, your father, your own flesh and blood, is sitting together with Alfred Marcel, Dr. Marcel's son. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're making themselves nice and cozy with giant ice cream sundaes! I can't believe it. My father prefers that sleazebag over me? Something must be truly rotten here. Yeah, what if he did lock her in the basement? Not even if it's because he's a particularly harsh disciplinarian, but because... Because he doesn't... like her that much. I don't know, man. You'll never guess what's happening on the porch! Fire away. Mattis, your father, your own flesh and blood, is sitting together I see, with same Alfred thoughts, Marcel, same ideas. Dr. Marcel's son. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're making themselves nice and cozy with giant ice cream sundaes. I can't believe it. My father prefers that sleazebag over me? Something must be truly rotten here. Well, what about these strange articles I found? Or actually, let's look at the back door first. There's a door leading inside from the backyard. Do you have any idea how I can get in? I don't think you can. How would you open a door? Right. I'd better keep looking around. Well, at least she seems to understand that he's just some kind of hallucination. What an interesting dynamic. Edna! 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 Uh, you won't believe what's in the paper! You're finally allowed to rhyme easel and brush? Um, yes. About time. Now I can finally finish my poem about the weasel in the underbrush. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again. Oh no, not again. Last time he took three trees in our street alone. Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed off toenail. Really? A knot of toenails shouldn't be hard to come by. And now? Oh, are we going to escape using a toenail? I've read that a left-handed person got stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Isn't that peculiar? I think somebody's trying to make a point. Hmm. Well, we got our toenail now. Talk to the toenail. You are a part of me, even if not the cleanest one. 
That's true. That's the best piece of dialogue that they possibly could have used. Can you talk to the rake? Why are you hanging around? Make yourself useful. I have that sentiment towards rakes sometimes, like the one hanging in Grandma's garage. I'm really curious to see if this is going to work. I can't believe it! It really did work! The latch isn't held by the panel anymore. I can just open the door. This really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. No, not yet. just about to come back to me. I'm sorry. This was all I could remember. At least you learned how to loosen screws. Right. Thanks, Harvey. Where would I be without you? Do we have a toenail now? I guess we do. I must say, the gnawing off your toenail is pretty intense. Your teeth... I mean, your teeth aren't like razors. They're not built to just tear your toenail off. You could really hurt yourself doing that. But now we have it. Well, I mean, we have ten. We have ten more of these to spare. We we're or nine more. And one can go so far. Do whoop. This is going surprisingly well. Very realistic way of getting through. Now what are we going to do about this thing? I don't know. That's the last thing a juicy steak gets to see before it's turned into hamburger. Uh, throw the toenail at it. No? No. Let's reason with it. Oh, master of rotation. Will you let me pass? In one piece? I highly doubt that. Quiet, Harvey. Uh, now what are we gonna do? But we still have the same amount of stuff we did before. Maybe we'll be able to talk to... Actually, what's this stuff on the floor? I, I don't know. Let's, let's uh, talk to the guard again. Hey! Hello! Well, sweetheart, what is it now? I'd like to know more about mini-golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Mini-golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll leave the AC running a little longer. You're not supposed to leave your fans in a sweat, after all. Ah, oh, darn. Um... Let's try this again. Hey! Hello! Maybe we can, Maybe now well, he'll be willing sweetheart. to what concede to the whole turning off the, the AC. I mean, please. It'd be very helpful. It'd be beneficial to everyone. Well, not to you, but to me. I feel a little You'd lose chilly your job. now. Can you turn off the AC again, please? No. Fresh air is good for you. And with any luck, it'll make you drowsy. Just forget it. I've got better things to do than chat with you. <laughs> that laugh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Such contempt. Really, if you hate these people this much... Well, I mean, you, you, there's some real horror stories about people being mistreated in asylums. An asylum, by definition, should be a place you go to get help. Not a place where you're, you know, practically punished. So before, it was a sharpener. Maybe, maybe now we can jam it in. Look here, Harvey. I've invented the world's first chair leg sharpener ever. No. Cool. This would work great for vampire hunting. After we escape, we'll make millions. Hmm. Harvey. Harvey, Harvey. Maybe you know something about v about ventilators. No. Harvey is my best friend. 
No, that's not what I meant. I meant, hmm. But use ventilator. I wonder what would happen if I put my hand in there. Agna, don't! You could break the fan. That's a good point. Thanks for thanks for warning me. Er, no. Pick up the ventilator. Oh, look at this, Harvey. A ventilator whose razor sharp blades rotate at a deadly speed. This would fit right in with my collection of frag grenades and anti personnel mines. What do you think? Shall I take it? <laughs> Harvey? I'm still thinking about it. Hey! Hello! Well, sweetheart, what is it now? I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who does it? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Ah. Huh. Well, um, let's just be a jerk. And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Where did you get it then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? Really? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth! I've never stolen anything in my life. Yeah, Edna probably has, but she's still a better person than you. Where did you get it then? Is it from the junkyard? You can find the most curious things there. Watch your mouth! Nobody throws out a gem like a Babbitt and Son. Okay, fine. We're, we're, I, I'm dying to hear about your stupid golf club. You're just dying. I give up. Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son Titanium 7 Iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. And, you know, they say Edna's the crazy one. That sounds like one of those sophisticated father and son relationships. Yes, my father was a very sophisticated man. He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Always. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat. Just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway, thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini-golfer, I'm sure. Yep. It's so ridiculous because they're treating mini-golf like it is some kind of serious sport. But it's mini-golf! I wonder if my father was a mini-golfer, too. What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things, but mini-golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> what do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh, boy. Father a mini-golfer. That really cracks me up. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you want to know anything else? I see. He's... So he's in on whatever Marcel is up to. Why don't you take your daddy's club... And whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean! <laughs> My poor father! Just you wait! Let's see if you're still laughing when I turn the AC back off. Back off. Well, yeah, I'm still laughing. Uh, ha ha ha. Okay, there it is. Could we, could we... Could we... Could we... Talk to it now? Give way, you obstructionist rotating device. Yeah. Good point. Kill it. Maybe I can pry the fan out of its casing with this. And... Ugh. 
Well, it'll sure suck for who's ever in here next and doesn't have any AC, but let's go! Oh, yeah. Oh, go! Oh, look, there she, she, here she goes! This Edna is a real challenge, Holgar. That's Dr. Marcel's voice. It's coming from beyond this grate. Quick, maybe we can listen in on what they're saying! What do you mean by that, Dr. Marcel? I'm at the end of my tether. It's been ten years, and she can still remember. You're afraid she might find out what really happened back then? Pah! Nobody will believe her. Who's gonna believe a loony? The daughter of a convicted murderer. So why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just hate her resistance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My dad? A murderer? There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah, this Dr. Marcel is hiding something. As soon as we're out of here, we'll have to clear the good name of my father. Yeah, I guess Marcel is involved in a murder and her father was arrested for it. I mean, let's hope our attempt goes a little better than this extremely big guy's did. We might have, you know, toenails, but he had a spoon. He got pretty far. All right. Oh, oh, we escaped. Good job. Um. Freedom, cut to shreds by the merciless bars of a grate. Yeah, there's nothing great about that, is there? But that guard wasn't kidding. It is a beautiful sunset. Well, um, this. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Unfortunately, the screws are on the outside, so I can't reach them. Okay, so that's not such a good thing, then. Maybe we can reason with it. Help! I'm being held prisoner here! Where have all the heroes gone? All those knights in shining armor? Where are all those annoying do-gooders when you really need them? Eh, in some other video game, I guess. Well, Harvey, what do you make, make of the great? Maybe you can chew through the bars, Harvey. I'm afraid I can't. My teeth are made of terry cloth. I know. It's always terry cloth with you, isn't it? Okay. Use a chair leg. Freedom! Freedom! What did that did that work? Can we can we use it now? Closed. As was to be expected. Can we can we not move the grate? Closed. As was to be expected. Hmm. That's kind of... I'm just kind of baffled. Didn't she just say something about freedom? To use a chair leg with grate. Freedom! Freedom! Oh, I get it. She's scraping it up and down the bars like some kind of prisoner. Because she is a, an actual prisoner. Well, the screws are on the outside, eh? Well, yeah, that's not going to do us much good then, is it? What could we do, though? What about this grate? Let's use the toenails for this grate. That'd be great. Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. Well, here we go again. I'm starting to get the hang of this. That's the best sound effect. Uh-huh. Now, here we are. So this is Marcel's office, huh? Take the pen. Take the pen. All right. We'll prove to them that we're not insane. That'll show him. Wow, so Marcel. He's an evil psychologist. Even back then, huh? Back before the second game. One cup for a spelling bee and one for shooting clay discs. How sporting. He's a real country gentleman, except that he's really a faker because he's a probably a murderer. Yeah, I know. It looks like a plastic furnace with an electric fire, but is actually made of stone and firmly built into the wall. So it's actually real? Or do this. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. 
How about slicing through them with penetration insight? Nope. You're a moral person. I understand why you would believe in not destroying memories, though. Hello, boy in the photo. Hello! Hello! Edna! Edna! Look! I'm playing! I'm playing! You look grounded! You can't play with me! No! Please don't! Stop it! La 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 la! Oh, it's Arthur in the photo, is that it? Probably. An old photograph of a boy playing. I think I know him from somewhere. Because he's Arthur, right? Yeah, surely. That's definitely Dr. Marcel's distinct signature. So you're familiar with him. And he's trying to... So he's imprisoned her here and is trying to do something to her to destroy her memory because she knows about a murder he was involved I in. I used to be scared of cabinets when I was a child. That's odd. Hello? Anybody in there? No. That's comforting. I used to be scared of cabinets when I was a child. She outgrew it, though. Oh, it's a polo mallet! Take that polo mallet, Edna! A polo mallet! Now we have our signature weapon. Okay, I'm fine with that. Let's get out of here. Yep, let's use the door by opening it. Come on! Well, look at the door. Or, or don't. A desk, made from the finest wood. Too bad there are no documents that say anything about Dr. Marcel's sinister dealings here. I'd really like to know what he's up to. Ah, uh, don't worry, I have a feeling we're gonna find out. Yikes! Oh. Well, if it isn't Miss Edna. How did you manage to get out of your cell? Um... I'll just be honest. That mini-golf guy let me out. Babbitt? He's getting less and less reliable. That's actually Dr. a lie. Dr. Marcel will be frothing at the mouth when he comes back from town. Be that as it may, you're coming with me now. I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! I want to talk to Dr. Marcel, at once. The doctor is out. You can talk to him as soon as he's back. Until then, you'll be put back in your cell. Never. As you wish. We might as well wait here. Even if it takes all day long, I've got plenty of time. Well, um... Huh, do, you do, do you? Want to see my... Ballpoint pen? The pen is supposed to be mightier than the sword, but these forearms look like the shock absorbers on a truck. That's true. I like how he has this sort of dumb guy civility despite that. Like, Polgor is already a lot nicer than that mini golf guy, Babbitt. This is a cabinet. Oh no, wait. It's Holger, Dr. Marcel's assistant. I feel like when this is your assistant, you know you're running some kind of unsavory operation. Well, eh, this should be mightier than a pen. I won't even try that. Well, all right, what do you think of it, Marvy? If you don't step away from the door immediately, I'll set my attack rabbit on you. <laughs> sick, Harvey, sick! <laughs> this guy's like evil Homer Simpson. Oh, well, we still have this. <laughs> Perfect. Edna slay big animal. Ugh. Look, this was made on a really on a budget, so it's okay that they don't have the animation, but... <laughs> I should get rid of Holger first. Come on, we can clean up later. No, somebody could find him and sound the alarm. You have experience with this kind of thing, don't you? Well, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Why don't we put him in the cabinet? Um, take Holgor. Yes, I should get rid of him, but where to put him? Okay, put him in the cabinet. 
Okay. Now, pick up Holgor and put him into the cabinet. Yes. I should get rid of him. But where to put him? Ah, I know. The cabinet. You're gonna hang him? Should you really... Well, sure. Um, I mean, he's gonna, like, die like that, but whatever. Aren't you gonna close the cabinet? Aren't you, aren't you gonna close the cabinet? You gotta close it. I used to be scared of cabinets when I was a child. Well, I'm sure. Just leave it like that so it'll look even worse than if you were just on the floor. I should get rid of Holger first. We did! We put him in the cabinet! Like a coat. Yep, there he is, hanging up in there like a coat. Let's go. Here we go, jazz. I have to say that, knowing this was a comedy, this has been a lot less wacky than I expected. I mean, that's a good thing. I enjoy a nice earnestness. An exceptionally creepy buttercup. Aren't buttercups extremely poisonous? Nope. Before we walk to the hallway, take a look at the take a look at the roof hatch. It's another hatch. I can see approximately ten gallons of sky. We gotta stay hydrated somehow. Who's in here? Oh! Oh! Yeah, the, the, Lily goes to this asylum in the second game. I've already been here. I remember this place. This was the room where the man who had his eye stabbed out was. This is pretty high up. Does that mean I'm being held captive in a tower? How romantic! Well, your hair might be pretty. Good and dark and dirty, so as I was saying, very pretty. But it doesn't strike me as quite Rapunzel-y hair. Captain Useless and the Quiche of Death! Whoa! It's a limited first edition! The Quiche of Death was a good one. There is some missing. It reminds me of Holgor. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. Whoa. That sounds like... Yeah. Almost as if... Um... Well, color me surprised. This is glass! Good! Nice color. Yeah, it is a nice color orange. Orange is a very pretty color. I used to think it was ugly, but not There's anymore. There's a flashy sign on it. I really respect it now. Yeah, you should probably take a drink. No, just kidding. Don't do that. A pile of white lab gowns. I don't know why they'd have something radioactive in an asylum, though. A pile of white lab gowns. Oh, they're up to mad science here. To destroy your memory, no doubt. Is this an asylum for the mentally ill or Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory? Well, it's a little bit of both. It's more like an asylum where they're punished for being ill. Ugh. Hey, you're not exactly Miss Universe yourself. <laughs> Whatever you say, Brain. That Alf is one ugly critter. Oh, Alf! Yeah, Alf is a classic. No, oh, well, probably should have y used this already. There we go. It's much clearer now. Well, um... Let's have a chat with Alf. You make me want to puke, Alf. No problemo! <laughs> You're killing me! Blah. Eh, Alf isn't that ugly, is he? Well, he's kinda ugly. Blah. Hey, you're not exactly Miss Universe yourself. Never gets old. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, well, let's go to the hallway. It's interesting that the arrow icon stays the same. Wait a minute. Hey! Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. 
wait, you little brat! There's Babbitt. Um, hide. Hide in here. He'll never find us in here. Turn off the light, though. Tur turn it off. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What's the big idea, walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go. Back to your cell. Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. Yeah, well, you're just really dumb. It's very funny, though, that <laughs> he's able to counter our attack. <laughs> Yeah, she can't see the skeleton. <laughs> She's able to... He counters our attack with a... With, <laughs> he actually has his... Has his Babbitt and Son mallet with him. <laughs> well, anyway, it's easy enough. We'll just lure him in here. We'll hide in the dark. And then we'll knock him unconscious. Then we'll, um... I don't know, stuff his body in the fridge or something. I wonder what this witch controls. The lights, probably. And by probably, I mean definitely. But it's good to be curious. That's at the heart of, you know, of science. But, oh, what? There we go. Hmm. Yeah, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to be fast about this. We're gonna have to lure him into that, in that room we were just in. Um... Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Okay. We only... We can... Okay, you know what? For, for, um... Look at the pen. This ballpoint pen looks extremely expensive. Good! Hey! Uh-oh! I better skedaddle. Man, Babbitt, it's nice to see you. He's really ugly. He's probably Wait, been bullied rat. his whole life. And that's why he came out so mean. Because he's been bullied his whole life, you know. Um. How are we going to do this? It, oh. Freedom is very close at hand. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do here either. Thank you for teaching me how to gnaw off my toenails, Harvey. That ability had been sleeping within you for a long time, Edna. I merely pushed the bed into the hallway and triggered the sprinkler system. Well said. He should be a poet. Okay. Are we sure we can't use it with this? Yeah, we're sure, because they're on the outside. Well, um... You know what, forget it. Forget the toenail. We still have, we still have a, a number of toenails left. We should stop wasting them, though. Okay, Edna, let's get out of here. Well, um... Is there anything else we could find in here, you think? Because I don't. Wait, article? Oh, look at the article, Edna. That seems to be important. Let's now, see. What is this? That's my father right there in the picture. This article states my father is a murderer. That is a horrendous lie. He murdered an eight-year-old boy? If the prosecution follows through with the death penalty and it is swiftly applied to the single father leaves behind his sole daughter, Edna, who has been put under custody of Dr. Horatio Marcel, the head of the local asylum for the mentally ill. Wait a minute. Now, it's actually very possible that her father, Mattis, was involved in some kind of murder. But is what- but- did, like, Marcel murder one of his sons? And then, for some reason, Mattis took the fall for it. But Edna knew what happened? That- wow! This is no joke and matter. Even worse is that non-smoker- Oh, 
Look at the window. I can see our way to freedom clearly now. Yeah. Uh, why not smash the window? Darn it. Worth a try. It's not surprising she doesn't have much upper arm strength anymore, considering that her, you know, she's not in such a good state right now. She's very, she's very malnourished. Oops. Help murder. Shh. Don't say that, Harvey. Somebody else will take care of that. Yeah. Oh, can we pick up the column? I could look at a few yards, tops. Well, yeah, and then you could put it on the ground and kick it, and it would trip up, it would trip up Babbitt. That'd be great. But she's not going to do that. Smash it. I will not mutilate this pedestal. It shall stand tall as a symbol of utterly failed home decorating for all eternity. The only reason you won't disfigure it is because it's a movable sprite. Am I right? Shh. <laughs> I think he means it's an immovable sprite, but that's just me. Okay. Well, there must be something in here that could be helpful. Say the bowling ball. Yeah, take it. I most certainly will not lug this thing around. Why? Just one swift blow and the guard is dead. But I suppose we don't want to kill him. That'd be pretty bad. What for? There is some missing. Yeah, well, I'm not suggesting we go bowling. Now am I? Okay, just, just smash the window. I don't have to break it. It isn't even locked. Oh! Well, use window. There we go. Well, doy. Oh, wow, we're pretty high up. Oh, these are the, uh, there's Marcel's office, and here is the grate. This is great. Now we can use a toenail with a grate. Yes, folks, it's time once again for Edna Conrad and her dancing toenails. It loses some of its appeal trying to get in instead of out. So your name's Edna Conrad, eh? Oh, I can see the town church over there. There's a forest behind the wall. Then there's a river with a bridge over it. I can make out a graveyard and a church. And then... houses. Isn't that one our house? I have to get there as soon as possible. Whatever it is Dr. Marcel is trying to hide, I'm sure I can find hints there that will help me remember. Well, we have a goal. It's important to want to have one of those to keep yourself going. Wow. Looks like I still have a long way to go. Huh. You're pretty bold just being willing to stand up here like this. I mean, there's not much surface to walk on here. And you're keeping your balance despite the malnutrition. Oh, an antenna. Steal it. It looks like an ice skater. With a broken leg. Yeah, you shouldn't actually steal it. It'd be no... I mean, sure, you'd annoy the guards because they couldn't watch TV anymore. But you'd also be annoying the people who are stuck here. And I don't want to do that. There are victims here. Well, anyway, what are we going to do? Um... I suppose we could, uh, break it for some reason. Look here, Harvey. This is how the government spies on pirate radio stations. Aw, oh, I should have been able to figure that one out myself. You got that right, Harvey. Um, actually, it's probably a good idea to save again. Save first, save often, and it has been quite a while. Okay, now that we've saved... Um... Knock it down. <laughs> that was fun. We could make a whole symphony doing that. Look here, Harvey. Now nah, we is can't how the cut it down. Spies on pirate radio stations. Ah, uh, I should have been able to figure that one out myself. I swear, Edna, you have this sort of childlike quality. 
getting a kick out of out of whacking it with that mallet. It's important. It's important that people the people do that. Look here, Harvey. This is how cartoons are transmitted. Oh. Oh, I get it. it makes sense because that's how you draw. We're running pretty low on toenails now. I think we only have like three or four left, but uh. Look here, Harvey. This is how you set the frequency. With a toenail? The wonders of modern technology. Yeah, they're using what you have. You can't argue. That's pretty good. Um, take it. Take the antenna. I'm picking up plenty. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, that's probably bad to you, staff. Yeah, I admit, you're right. But what does this really help us with? Not much. Uh, let's take the scenic route. I mean, we're still stuck out here. And we still don't have any way. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Sure. Well, first of all, we're gonna turn off the light switch so he'll all be confused. He won't realize we're in here. And then we're gonna climb the heck out of here. And we'll push him off the roof. It'll be very dramatic. And he'll die. But it'll, for the legal purposes, it will be the gravity that killed him, not us. Hey! Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. Edna, after all, is not a murderer. Wait, you little brat! Edna is, of course, a real hero. Okay, Edna, come on, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. What's the meaning of this? Come back here at once! You'll break every bone in your body! Why don't you come and get me? Well... Oh, isn't that cute? Our mini-golf professional has a fear of heights. Coward! Coward! Yeah, you just laugh. But eventually, you'll have to come down from there. And that's when I'll show you. Okay, bye. See you around. See you around, uh, Babbitt. He is su such a childish person. It's unbelievable. You shouldn't, don't, guys, don't work in a place like this if you're there to just be contemptuous of the people and not to help them. For goodness sake. But this is like Dr. Marcel's special, you know, sort of ward, this area here. So it's no wonder that he keeps Edna here so near, uh, so near his office. Oh, see you, Babbitt. You just, just wait there for hours. He'll probably fall asleep. Not so fast, sweetheart. Gotcha. What's the big idea walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolish! It'll work one of these You'll days. You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Okay, use the column. Real quick. Perfect! Okay, um, well... See you around. You big idiot. Well, he's not really that much of an... Okay, no, he's just a big idiot. All right, never mind. He is absolutely a big idiot. Wait, what? Not so fast, sweetheart! Take the test tubes. I can't reach them. Okay, I always despised Fine. chemistry lessons anyway. <laughs> Except for the explosions, of course. That is a big part of chemistry. We got photo, photo, the article, and an encyclopedia. Ah, give it a... Say hi. Hello, you, um, you, uh... Encyclopedia? Right. Hello, Encyclopedia. Smarty pants. Well, you're not wearing any pants, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess she's wearing pants in the underwear sense. Good. Um, look, look at the Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Noun. One, a work treating the various branches of learning. Two, an alphabetical compendium of referential knowledge. See also, dictionary, lexicon. Man, that sounded like a dictionary entry, not an entry in an encyclopedia. Well, all right, so. Is everything set up? Everything's ready. Everything's in position for the plan. Oh, it better be. It's gonna be some plan. Hey! Babbitt! You big jerk! I'm over here! Hey! Uh-oh! I better skedaddle! 
Man, my voice isn't nearly as pretty as Edna's. Wait, you little brat! Um, go in here. Yep, so far so good. Good job, Edna. Now, Edna, just go up, uh, go in here. Good job, Edna. Now you'll be in our way. What's the meaning of this? Come back here at once! You'll break every bone in your body! Why don't you come and get me? Well... Oh, isn't that cute? Our mini-golf professional has a fear of heights. Coward! Coward! Yeah, you just laugh. But eventually, you'll have to come down from there. And that's when I'll show you. Yeah, it's, it's true. We're gonna come down from here. But, um... Don't, don't worry. We'll be fine. Trust me. It's all coming together now. Okay, Edna. Gotta be cunning. As we are. Being cunning. Now I'll push the column there. Now the door is blocked, and next we're gonna take this and use it with the column. <laughs> now the handle can't be pushed down anymore. What the? Hey! What's going on? I'm still in here! Hello! Holgor! Dr. Marcel! Somebody! Thank you. Well, now Babbitt's the one in prison. Now he can enjoy how it feels, huh? I mean, he doesn't really seem to be any more stable than Edna. Oh, nice floors. Yeah, by the time that we visit this place in the second game, it's not in nearly as good shape. There's a guard sitting in this room. He's staring at a wall of surveillance monitors. So this music does sound like the sort of thing they might put on to calm people. Is it working, Edna? Oh, the water closet. Um. Edna, this isn't really the kind of room you should be in barefoot. I also don't think this is the one for the, for the ladies, but that's fine. I recognize this from origami therapy. <laughs> well, use it. That's not fair. It rolls right back into the wall. No. Oh. Well, that's fine. We can just rip it off because it's paper. That's not fair. It rolls right back into the wall. Wow, really? Huh. Well, that's pretty useless. She's so malnourished that she can't even... She's not even capable of... Of, of ripping a piece of paper. It's terrible. You're only as crazy as you feel. Sanity is not statistical. Winston Smith said that. Say hi to your reflection on the subject. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the coolest of them all? Oh my, Edna, it is clear. You're the one, no other near. But what would show you really rock is if you opened up the lock. Which lock in particular are you talking about? We've already opened a number of them. Soap, founder of civilization. Well said. What the? No, don't go in there. Well, I mean, unless you need to. A typical sink. Just like the ones in the catalog. Why don't we take it off the wall? My preliminary analysis says, if I take it with me, it will cease to function properly. Well, yeah, that doesn't mean it can't do other things. You could wear it as a hat. Perfect. Well, um... Maybe you can reason with the paper. Will you let go of the towel already? Come and get it! Okay, well, uh... Maybe we can... Break it off with the chair leg. Darn it! Nah, we just kinda whacked it. Um... Oh! Hit the sink! No, I want the blood of my enemies to stay where it is. 
Well said. Whack the mirror! Still am. I'm getting Twin Peaks vibes. Let's get out of here. Nice green carpets. There's so much detail in this. They really have a different reaction for every combination of everything, I think. Rumo di Planto. Is that like a Latin name? Must be. Primary tools for achieving freedom. I'll build the both of them a shrine sometime. That's a good idea. You can worship them along with the great god Pan. I don't think I have to mark the broken chair leg. Nobody will steal it anyway. That's a good point. Hey, mark the plant. Draw a little mustache on it. Oh, she doesn't want to? Oh, she does. That's good. Well, uh, I suppose this is the end of the hall, but what's in here? Another lock. Oh, but it wasn't locked. Oh, this must be the staff lounge. Wait, that's Marcel on the dartboard? Do even the people who work here hate him? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. He doesn't seem like the pleasantest guy around. There's a picture of Dr. Marcel pinned in the middle of it. <laughs> Bullseye! Same to you, mate. Well, I mean, she was, like, less than a foot away, so it's not that impressive, but I'll, st I'll still give it to her. Bullseye! Same to you, mate. Ooh, look, Harvey! Chewing gum! Do you have any gum for me? I wouldn't be much of a gum dispenser if I didn't. It still works! Blah! Old and inedible! Very disappointing. These animations all have this kind of... I mean, I understand it's because it was all done by one guy, but... They have this incompleteness to them that appeals to me somehow. It's attached to the wall. Doesn't matter. It's useless without darts anyway. Nah, you could hit somebody over the head with it. That's what everything is useful for, Edna. When are you gonna figure this out? Oh, use the soap! Mmm, splishy. Have you ever noticed that faucets have a certain phallic quality about them? Edna! Now that I've noticed that, I guess I'll have to die of thirst. Huh. I never thought about that. Thanks, Edna. I don't appreciate that. It's firmly attached. Well, use the faucet. Good job. Turn it off. We don't want to waste all that water. A lot of people could really use that water, you know? Oh, she doesn't... Mark on the ca oh! A plywood board hanging on hinges is blocking my view. Hmm. How odd. Why don't we move it? Oh, we got a little mar marmalade. Well, I know you hate marmalade, but I'll take it anyway. Looks like it's dried stuck to the cupboard. Oh. Rhubarb, 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 rhubarb. Hello, granola. Hello. A whole alphabet full of vitamins. And still, at a loss for words. Oh, they're one of those cereals where it's all shaped like letters. I see. Um, or wait, it's the vitamins that are. Because they're vitamins A and B and C, etc. Yeah. Good. Want to take any more cereal? No, thank you. That sounds too healthy for me. 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't really think you need to worry about, uh... Well, you do need to worry about health since you're malnourished, but you don't need to worry terribly much. Just eat a lot. Is the sun rising or setting right now? I've lost all sense of time in my cell. Oh, that's a good question. It could be either. I mean, it could be early morning while Marcel is going out to town, or it could be at night. I suppose that little black circle on the wall was a, a doorstop. Well, uh, let's go downstairs. I mean, what are we doing walking around here? We need to get out of here. This is probably the way down, because there's an arrow going down. This doesn't look good. Is this the room where they did the- where Marcel does the procedure? It makes me a little uneasy. I don't blame you. Um... Looks complicated. And there's a lever. Do you have one last wish, Django? I'd rather not be electrocuted if that's not asking too much. Hmm. Wouldn't you rather have some Pokemon collector's cards? This one controls the electric chair. So it actually is an electric chair. Well, it's what it looks like anyway. It might just be some sort of nickname. It doesn't work that way. That's a good point. I'd like one Coke, a maxi cheese, hold the pickles, and a single serving of used oil fries. Thanks for choosing McDonald's. I better leave that to an expert. No, I'm sure you can flip the switch. Anybody can just do something as simple as flipping a switch. Shall we give our items electric superpowers? I highly doubt it'll work that way. What I want to know is if this is, is an electric chair, what the hell is it doing in an... In an asylum. The Damocles sword of headgear. Oh, very sophisticated. I tell you, Edna's dropped so many references already. She's a she's a smart egg. That works differently than a regular hat. I don't know how, but I don't want to find out. Makes sense. How's the family, Helmut? Well, my cousin is in construction, and my brother joins the army. It's just me who's a bit of a slacker. Its name is Helmet. That's the best joke in the world. Take it. There are some hats I simply cannot wear. I didn't say you need to wear it, Edna. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, you probably should look into getting some more clothes, though, if I were you. I don't know, maybe she likes the all that air on her skin. I wonder what Dr. Marcel is hiding in there. Well, we can't smash through that window. Open sesame! Hmm, no reaction. Must have been the wrong incantation. Yeah, it pr probably should have said open rye. Well, just, uh, just op open the door, why don't you? Come on. It's locked. Oh. Um, well, here's this lock. I remember this from the sequel, too. I hate these things. Yeah, they've been causing you a lot of trouble. Rip it off! It's attached to the grate. It's a grate? Well, these things have always worked well with grates so far. Yeah, dang it. If only I had longer toenails. But I'm such a silly dilly. I always gnaw them down. Who can't relate to that? Um, stab it. Oh, oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Dag, Nabbit, I'm too clumsy. I guess I'm stuck here without a key. Yeah, I figured. But you could always use Harvey with the door. Look, Harvey! Another door! I hate every last one of them! If we're up to Harvey, we would live with no this restrictions. This is my old buddy, Harvey. 
Well, that's not what I meant to do. I'm sorry. Harvey, tear the lock off with your brute strength. Look, Harvey, a lock. I hate those things from the bottom of my heart. Oh, wait. We just keep going downstairs. What the heck? Why am I doing? Oh. Okay, so we couldn't keep going downstairs indefinitely. Who's this, uh, thin fellow? I'll call him Noodle. He's on the phone. Well, of course, he's Bruce Broker, but Noodle is a better name because he clearly is one. No, he might misinterpret that. <laughs> what about this? No, he might misinterpret that. <laughs> sure. Okay, hey. Well, we probably shouldn't talk to him. Hello? Hello? Hmm. No reaction. Well, I'm not surprised. I think he must be one of the inmates, because he's talking into a phone, which, uh, you know, it's not attached to anything. No, it's fine, we can just keep going downstairs. It doesn't matter. Oh! I think we escaped. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Hey! It's prohibited to pass through here. I've got a special permit. Always the same witty remarks, Miss Edna. Maybe the doctor should be less thorough when erasing your memory. You always come up with the same old tricks. What else you got for me? You're just visiting? You're the newbie? Or no, wait. You're not really even there, right? Um... I'm really fed up with you. Alarm! Patient on the run! What's going on? What do you think? There's a patient on the run! Where are all the others? Aren't Babbitt and Holger around? Isn't that something you should know? I've been sitting here all day. I don't know what else is going on, but obviously the whole building is in chaos since the doctor went out. It's just, uh, I've never dealt with an attempted escape before. <sighs> alright, alright, I'll just put her in here with the others. That must be what I'm supposed to do. There. You stay here till the doctor is back. Something seems to have gone patently wrong here. Outside and inside are just two aspects of the same circumstance. Like the two sides of a coin, neither be inside nor outside, Edna, just be.